In this video, I'm going to share with you a conversation I had with a GP registrar during a coaching session. So this is a, a very difficult one, you know, having somebody who um, wants antibiotic and there's no indication really to give antibiotic here. So um, I'll just give you a few feedback as to how you negotiate so that next time when you're having it, um, you know what to say and what are the strategies. Here. Basically, you want to actually show them that you're on the same team as them. So you want the best for the child because that's what your mom wants. She's worried about this cough being an infection. It's the second time that she's presenting with a similar problem now. So, so you, can, you can actually appreciate the, her concern and the reason why she's asking this. So what you want to be doing, is, I'll show you how to do it. So um, I appreciate that um, this has been ongoing for the last three weeks now and Hannah's um, not been well and you're quite concerned about the chest infection. This is a very valid concern to have because um, most of the time um, children when they have this cough um, usually get better and this seems to be going um, on for the last three weeks now. Having listened to Hannah's um, chest today, I have to say that uh, the chest sounded clear. There was no signs of any infection uh, that I'm worried about. I knew that you mentioned antibiotic. Definitely antibiotic is something I considered when I assess Hannah. There are times when antibiotic can be useful. And, and there are times when if we give antibiotic, it might not be in her best interest. For example, because this sounds um, to me that it is a viral illness, although it's taking longer than um, we, we would like to, um, if we give antibiotic when she does not need it, it's going to create resistance. So when she does have a bacterial infection in the future, it's less likely that antibiotic is going to work because it can create resistance. The other thing is that it can cause other symptoms. As you say, she's not eating and it can make her feel even more sick, uh, which is going to be um, something that um, we want to avoid if possible. If you're struggling with the RCA and you believe that you need help, then I'd recommend that you click the link down in the description below to book a free call to see whether we can work together on a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. If I think that I can help you then, we can get you on the coaching program. But if I can't help you, then at least you'll get some insights. If you find this video useful, then I'm sure you're going to get a lot from watching this video. Click the video to watch it. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.